Morocco is a country with a long and varied history. From the early Homo sapiens to the present day, our documentary will explore the history of this fascinating country. We've long known that humans have inhabited the African continent for hundreds of thousands of years. But new evidence from Morocco is pushing back the date for the emergence of Homo sapiens even further to around 300,000 to 350,000 years ago. Remains of Homo sapiens discovered in a cave in Morocco are estimated to be the oldest fossils of our species ever found. The bones suggest that early Homo sapiens had faces much like our own. Along with the human remains, researchers also uncovered a Venus figurine from Tantan. This artifact is estimated to be more than 300,000 years old, making it one of the oldest known sculptures in the world. These discoveries are forcing us to rethink our understanding of the early history of human habitation in Morocco. They suggest that humans were living in the region much earlier than previously thought and that our species had developed a sophisticated culture even in the distant past. This new evidence is providing us with a fascinating glimpse into the lives of our ancestors and a better understanding of the history of human habitation in Morocco. Morocco has a long and rich Paleolithic history with evidence of human habitation dating back to the lower Paleolithic period. The earliest known site is Jebel Irhoud, which is believed to be at least 400,000 years old. This was followed by the ibero morusian culture, including Tafarul. Recently, a 1.3 million year old artifact was discovered in Morocco, placing it chronologically closer to previous archaeological discoveries across Africa. This discovery was made at the Thomas Corii site and included stone tools extracted from the site. The fossilized bones of an early human species were also found in Morocco, estimated to be 300,000 to 350,000 years old. These remains are believed to belong to Homo sapiens ancestors and suggest that modern humans evolved more ancient and dispersed across Africa than previously thought. The discoveries at Thomas Khoury I have been hailed as a chronological rebound by Moroccan archaeologist Abdelouid Benser and contribute to enriching the debate on the emergence of the Acheulean in Africa. The archaeological discoveries in Morocco provide evidence of the long history of human habitation in the region, with artifacts and fossilized remains suggesting a much longer timeline than previously thought. These discoveries also challenge existing theories on the origin and dispersal of modern humans, as they suggest that our species may have evolved earlier and more widely across Africa than previously believed. Morocco is quickly becoming an important destination for archaeologists and paleontologists, as the discoveries made in this region shed light on the origins of humanity and challenge existing theories on the evolution of our species. The Neolithic period in Morocco is an important part of the country's history, and recent discoveries have shed light on this era. Ancient genomes from North Africa have revealed that early Neolithic Moroccans were composed of an endemic Maghrebi element still retained in present-day North African populations. In 2020, a team of international scientists made a groundbreaking discovery of the oldest Acheulean tool in North Africa, which dates back to 1.4 million years ago. This discovery has changed what was previously known about the history of Morocco and has provided new insights into the Stone Age. In addition, a study conducted by researchers at the University of Granada has provided an overview of the process of Neolithization in northwestern Morocco. The study found that this region was one of the first areas to be affected by Neolithization, with evidence suggesting that it began around 8.5 thousand years. These findings have helped to shed light on how the Neolithic period shaped modern-day Morocco and its culture. They provide an invaluable insight into the history of the country and the development of its culture, offering a better understanding of the origins of Moroccan society.
Morocco's recorded history begins with the Phoenician colonization of its coastline between the 8th and 6th centuries before the Common Era. This period, commonly referred to as the Antique Age, saw the Phoenicians establish key trading posts and cities along the coast. Tingis, now Tangier, Shela, Rabat, Lixis, Larache, were all founded by the Phoenicians and were integral to the prosperity of the region. The Phoenicians were eventually replaced by the Roman Empire in the 3rd to 4th century before Christ. Morocco was a prosperous part of the empire during this time and flourished under Roman rule. Today, Morocco's history still carries a lot of significance, and its rich culture is a testament to its past. From the Phoenician colonies to the Roman Empire, Morocco's history is one of the oldest in the world. The Vandal period marked an important moment in Moroccan history. In 429, in our common era, the Vandals captured Tangier and incorporated the northern part of Morocco into their kingdom. By 534, the Vandals were defeated by the Byzantines and northern Morocco came under their control. During this time, Islamic and Arabic culture gained a foothold in towns across Morocco and trans-Saharan trade was dominated by Muslim traders. Before this, in 146 before Christ, the Roman Republic extended its control westwards along the southern coastline of the Mediterranean, renaming the area around northern Morocco Mauritania. Today, Morocco's best preserved archaeological site from this period is Volubilis, situated in a fertile plain just outside modern Meknes in northern Morocco near the heights of the Atlas Mountains. The Vandal period was an important moment in the history of Morocco, leaving a lasting legacy in the form of cultural, religious, and archaeological evidence. Volubilis stands as a reminder of the past and remains a testament to the rich history of the region. For centuries, Morocco has been a crossroads of cultures and religions from around the world. In the 7th century, the Islamic conquest and the spread of Islam changed the landscape of the country. The Umayyad Caliphate, an Islamic dynasty, took control of Morocco in the 8th century, bringing with it a new culture, language, and religion. As a result, over time, Morocco developed a unique culture, combining the Islamic influence with traditional Amazigh culture. In 791, Idris I founded an independent Moroccan state after fleeing Arabia. This marked the start of a new era for the country, setting the stage for the development of a distinct and vibrant culture. The Idrisid dynasty was a powerful Arab Muslim dynasty that ruled Morocco from 789 to 974. The founder, Idris I, was a Sharif, or princely descendant of Prophet Muhammad, and was one of the few survivors of the Battle of Fak. Idris I had been completely dependent on the Araba leadership before he spread his authority across much of northern Morocco. His son, Idris II, began his rule with the support of the Magnasa tribe and took refuge at Hajar and Nasser when they pursued him. The Idrisids are remembered for their religious tolerance and patronage of learning, establishing a number of libraries and encouraging scholarship in various fields such as medicine, astronomy, mathematics, philosophy, and literature. They also built mosques and madrasas throughout Morocco to promote Islamic education. Through their patronage, the Idrisids laid the foundations for modern Morocco by unifying much of northern Morocco and establishing their power base at Hajar and Nasser. They also spawned many Sharifian families which continued to be present for centuries to come. The Idrisids were succeeded by the Almoravid dynasty in 974, but their legacy remains to this day through their patronage of learning and religious tolerance. It is this legacy that has shaped modern Morocco and the Sharifian families that continue to be present. The 
The Almoravid dynasty was an influential Berber Muslim dynasty that ruled in the territory of present-day Morocco from the 11th to 12th centuries. It was founded by Abd Allah Ibn Yassin, a religious leader from the Sioux region of southern Morocco, who united the region and then went on to conquer much of the Maghreb. The Almoravids brought Morocco and Al-Andalus closer together, resulting in a rapid exchange of culture and ideas between the two regions. Under their rule, Moroccan literature, art, and architecture flourished. The Almoravids were eventually replaced by the Almohads, another Berber dynasty from North Africa. The Almohads continued many of the Almoravids' policies, including religious reformation which saw their courts in Marrakesh and Seville become important centers of Islamic learning. The Almoravid dynasty was a powerful and influential force in the region, and its legacy can still be seen in Morocco today. The Almohad dynasty was a powerful North African Berber Muslim empire that was founded in the 12th century. It was led by Ibn Tumurt, a Berber leader from the Masmuda tribe, and upon his death, Abd al mumin took charge of the caliphate and ruling dynasty. The Almohads ruled over Morocco, western Algeria, and Spain for centuries, until their territories were lost through multiple revolts, paving the way for their enemies, the Marinids. The Almohads were renowned for their strict adherence to the unity of God and their puritanical moral reform. They also adopted a style of cursive Maghribi script called Maghribi Thuleth, which was used in manuscripts, coinage, documents, and architecture. The Almohads were at their peak of power in the Maghrib, controlling modern-day Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Al-Andalus. Non-Muslims such as Jews and Christians were allowed to practice their religion under certain conditions. Rabat was an important cultural center during this period, with its polychrome pottery becoming well known for its use of yellows, greens, and bright blues. Eventually, the Almohads were replaced by the Marinids in 1269. During their rule, the Almohads had made significant contributions to Islamic learning. Their courts in Marrakesh and Seville became important centers of Islamic learning. The Marinid dynasty, a powerful Arabized Berber dynasty, ruled Morocco and parts of North Africa from the mid-13th to the 15th century. The Marinids overthrew the Almohads in 1244 and expanded their territory from the Atlantic to Tunisia. They faced numerous battles with other tribes such as the Halali, who eventually expelled them from Afrikia in 1224. The Marinids left behind a rich artistic legacy, particularly in Fez, their capital. This legacy was refined and cultivated by the Saidi dynasty during the 16th century which saw further Moroccan expeditions into West Africa. This period of expansion was made possible by advances in military technology and tactics. Despite their long reign and the many achievements of the Marinid and Saidi dynasties, a comprehensive graphic history of medieval Morocco is yet to be produced. The Saudi Sultanate was an influential state that ruled present-day Morocco and parts of West Africa in the 16th and 17th centuries. It was led by the Saudi dynasty, an Arab Moroccan Sharifian dynasty that had first established themselves in the Dra Valley in the 14th century. The Saudi Sultanate marked a significant shift from previous Berber-led empires to sultanates led by Arab Sharifian dynasties. The era of Saudian rule began with Sultan Ahmad al arajs accession to power in 1554. Under his rule, he quickly consolidated his control over Marrakesh and other parts of Morocco, while also extending his influence into Sudan and other parts of West Africa. 
Al-Mansur is considered to be one of the most powerful rulers of this dynasty and is credited with expanding the Sultanate's territory significantly during his reign. His successors such as Zaidan Abu Mali, Muhammad ash sheikh and Ahmad al-Abbas continued to expand the Sultanate's influence into West Africa while also maintaining its control over Morocco. The Sultanate eventually fell under pressure from European powers such as Spain and Portugal, who sought to colonize North Africa during this period. The last ruler of this dynasty was Ahmad al-Abbas, who was deposed by Malay Ismail Ibn Sharif in 1664. The Saudian Sultanate left a lasting legacy in Morocco, not only in terms of political religious legitimacy, but also in terms of art and architecture. To this day, remnants of the Saudian dynasty are still visible in Morocco and provide a window into the culture and influence of this powerful era. The Alawite dynasty is one of the oldest and most prominent royal families in the world. Dating back to the 13th century, this powerful family has been ruling Morocco since 1631. The founder of the dynasty, Moulay Ali Cherif, was to move from his hometown of Yanbu in Hijaz, modern-day western Saudi Arabia, to the Moroccan region of Tafalal by its inhabitants. The dynasty rose to power thanks to the help of Arab tribes that had moved into Morocco during the Almohad period. In 1666, the Sudi family branch lost power to its Alawite counterpart when the latter gained possession of Fez, then the Sharifian capital. The founders of the Alawite dynasty, Malay Rashid and Malay Ismail, set out to conquer Morocco and established a new capital at Meknes. Under Muhammad IV and Hassan I, the Alawite dynasty promoted trade with the United States and European countries while modernizing the army and infrastructure. This dynasty is still in power today, with current monarch King Muhammad VI ascending to power in 1999. The Alawite dynasty has proven to be a powerful force in the region and has served to keep the country of Morocco peaceful and prosperous for centuries. Morocco has a long and fascinating history, from the earliest settlers to the present day. The people of Morocco have created a unique culture, blending the influences of the different civilizations that have occupied the land over the centuries. Today, Morocco is a vibrant and modern country with a rich cultural heritage. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. For more information about Morocco, head over to our website, morocconation.com.